so I made a community post, and it's looking like the video um, for tomorrow, I'm going to be reacting or giving an opinion on Chantel. I haven't decided yet. Um, I'm going to obviously wake up in the morning, kind of leave that up. Well, I'm going to leave it up anyway because I don't delete community posts like Chantel does. But in the meantime, um, I figured I would kind of make this video tonight. Well, a video for you guys tonight. I still do fragrance reviews and stuff like that because, you know, fragrance, that's my passion. I love hygiene stuff for some reason. I, trust me. Y'all yo, yo, will all get to know that. But I'm going to sprinkle them out throughout here. I still need to... Um, if any of you are interested in sports, I have a second channel. I'm a Giants fan, I'm a Notre Dame fan, I'm a Mets fan, and I'm a Knicks fan. And I'll be doing all of that content over there. Um, but in the meantime, and so I'll put it, I'll link it in the description or, or um, what I'll do is I'll upload this video. And then I'll comment and pin the comment from it or something like that. You know what I mean? I'll figure out a way. Anyway, um, so I wanted to make this video here just kind of as a way to put up a quick video tonight for you guys to get my opinion. Now, I want to make sure that I'm clear on this. When I talk about these two, they both frustrate me, okay? So there's going to be points in time where I come across as angry at them. It's because I am, okay? But I'm not doing so um, to be mean. I'm not doing so for the views. I'm doing so because... I really hope that these two see my videos and maybe think, well, he came from somewhere like me. I know Obese to Beast tried it, but maybe something about his personality or something. I think he's pretty pretty cool. Maybe he tried it and Alan Roberts tried it because they're a little bit more, I wouldn't say, they're a little bit more abrasive than I am. I try to take a little bit let are a little bit nicer of an approach. I'm not saying they're mean, but I'm also a little bit more in your face about what can really happen. So hopefully maybe my perspective, maybe they'll see it and think, okay, this dude is going through what I could be going through, and I don't want that. You don't want the amputations, which I had part of my foot amputated. You don't want the neuropathy. You don't want this stuff. And so that's why I'm making these videos. No, I don't want to bully them. I don't want to harass them. I don't want to make them feel bad. I want them to have an awakening and think, crap, this could happen to me. Because it very well could be. And as I'm losing the weight, I mean, I've put a couple pounds back on because I can't exercise right now because of my foot getting ready for the surgery. I'm non-weight bearing, so, you know, the boot that I'm in, even if I'm stepping on it, it's got a little, well, I'll show you guys tomorrow, but even if I'm stepping directly on my foot, there's no pressure on my foot because of the boot, but I'll show you guys that tomorrow, but in the meantime, I just don't want the, I want these girls to realize that things, even when you lose the weight, like, I also quit smoking, and I'm still at a pretty high risk of, of, of cancer, too, even after you do the things to make it better, the damaging effects of what you did while you're obese, while you're a smoker, while you're any of that stuff, all that stuff sits there. And you could totally get healthy and still, out of nowhere, now the problem comes up and goes, oh, well, now I'm going to stop hiding underneath the rock and now I'm going to give him a problem. I also went into AFib, um, which I had an irregular heartbeat. Um, I have a condition called tinnitus, which I developed through, you can actually develop that, um, through massive weight loss, okay? And I'm not saying it's, it, it's a very low chance that you will, but my tinnitus came because of that. All, all, all the medical problems I'm having right now are relating to, or are related to my obesity. So I have a ringing in my ears. It doesn't go off near as much as it used to. But being obese affects the nerves in your body, which mine happen to affect the audiosensory nerve. So I have a problem. I have a problem with tinnitus now. You know what I mean? 
and my hearing is diminished because of it. It does. It sounds ridiculous, but rapid weight loss, or, or, and I was doing it in a healthy way, still, it's a problem related to weight that, you know, mine wasn't from head trauma or anything like that, you know, and all these problems are related to obesity. So I'm trying to get to these two before they start having some real issues. Because i got to tell you, I'm going to live the rest of my life with a lot of these issues. And I don't want this to happen to them. With that said, I'm going to get in this video. And don't get me don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm going to be nice. But there's going to be points where I'm probably going to be angry. I haven't seen this video yet, but I guarantee you it's going to be excuses, excuses. And I'm pretty much going to be direct to the point. Hey guys! So, welcome to a new video. Um, I'm wearing the same thing that I wore in the last video, as you can tell. Besides, I am wearing a... She probably filmed the same day. The bananas haven't been touched either. Just saying. She bought them as a prop, I think. Jacket. It is a leather jacket. I don't know what I'm doing. We actually just got back from Target. And I the last video I filmed was the Panera Bread Mukbang. And I think I filmed that about six hours ago. And I was going to do like a reaction to it with me like watching it on camera because it's a load of crap, literally. But I don't have it uploaded, so I kind of sort of can't do that yet. And many of you are going to ask, well, why upload it? Like, what's the... The YouTube money. That's why. She wants to get the views. This isn't about weight loss. This is about the views and the money for her. Point if you're making this video. Because I want you guys to see how big of an idiot I am. Long story short. We see it. Don't worry. I binged last night. Last night was day two of Jenny Craig. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And wait a minute, wait a minute. So when you said you didn't have your Jenny Craig. Hold on. You said you didn't have your last meal Jenny Craig style. Then you upload the mukbang, so you binged. So you binged the night before, and then did the mukbang, and now you're coming back to do Jenny Craig Gate Day Three. <laughs> okay, all right, sis. I don't know what happened, but during that binge, I chopped off 14 inches of my hair. Um, I don't know what the heck. Binging. Has nothing to do with cutting your hair. Quit trying to p play the mental health aspect of this. You knew exactly what you were doing. Every time I overate, every time I had five, six thousand calorie meals, I didn't not know what I was doing. I knew what I was doing. I was addicted to the bad food. Even now, sometimes I'll still have a big meal, but I'll make up for it the rest of the day and say, okay, now I need to cut back on this, or maybe instead of having that soda, I need to have a water. Something like that, and I make up for it elsewhere. <laughs> Listen, people who've always been in shape might not see through this. But the people who either work in the medical field and see what happens to people like you and I, or the people like you and I, or the people like me, not you because you don't see it, but the people that were like you and became like who I am, see right through it. You're lying to us. And you're bringing a new group of people in that, like, every diet you do, every part of the cycle you do, you bring these people in and they believe you. But there's people like you, like me who've been here for a while who have been you and stopped being you. And we can see your lies coming from a mile away. And the thing about it is, is this, this message that you and Foodie Beauty do, you're a little bit better at describing it, but it's toxic to the people out there who do have eating disorders and who really work real hard and try to fix it because they could just see you, you and foodie and be like, well, if they can't beat it, why can't, why do I think I can? It, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the problem. That's the problem with doing this is you think you're trolling people by, Oh, I'm going to upload a random mukbang. You're no, you're <laughs> listen, those uh, people like me, I see right through you now. You telegraph your punches, and I see them coming a mile away. But the problem is, is you and I are on opposite ends of the spectrum here. If 
Okay? You and I are way on opposite ends of the spectrum. And people like you and people like me are on opposite sides of the spectrum. I'm probably not going to change your mind, even though I wish I could. And you're definitely not going to change mine. But in between people like you and I is an audience of people that can be reached. You're bringing them to a bad side. You're bringing them to a side that's going to hurt them. And I'm trying to bring people like you away from you. And hopefully you too. But I don't want people to end up like you. I don't want people to end up like where I am right now and where I was for sure headed just a couple of years ago. I don't care about the views. I'm mean, granted, I love the fact that more people are coming to my channel and I'm getting to interact with more people now. But I don't... The views don't really matter to me. Who can I reach out to? Who can I reach out to? Because you can look back in my channel and see how big I was. And I'm still big. I still have a lot of work to do. Once the surgery is done and I'm done healing from it, I'll be back in the gym and I'll be uploading those videos. And y'all can come along with me. And I'll be glad to help anybody out that I can. I don't want people to end up like this. And I don't want people to end up like what I'm going through was going on but it happened and I went to bed saying Jenny Craig is not for me I woke up with the same mind frame but in the pit of my gut I knew that I was making the wrong decision and I still was making the wrong decision as I was making that move bomb so if you want to go back for reference you can kind of tell that I'm just low, like I'm literally just talking out of my butt at that point because I was trying to make excuses for overeating because Weight Watchers allows that. I was trying to not be strict with myself, but restriction is what I need right now to lose weight. And after I filmed that video and I was editing it, my gut was telling me, Amberlynn, this is not the right choice. You are making the wrong choice. I even told Becky, I looked at Becky and I said, Becky, has your gut ever like truly spoke to you? Because like everyone always like has that saying like, follow your gut, follow your gut. Well, this might be one of the first times in my life, one of the first times that my gut actually spoke to me and said, Amberlynn, you need to do Jenny Craig. Stop making excuses. It's so crazy because I've never felt that with anything. Like, I'll And you don't feel that with this. Because if you did, you know what you would not have done? You would not have recorded that mukbang to upload right before this to get more YouTube point and more views. <laughs> Where I paused the video was funny. Someone please make a meme out of this. There you go. I'll clear the screen for you. Somebody please. Please make a meme. <laughs> okay. Back to the video. Uh, uh counting calories, veganism, anything. Like, even weight loss. Veganism isn't a weight loss thing, by the way. It's a lifestyle. You can be way overweight and be a vegan. It don't matter whether you're eating chocolate cake or vegan chocolate cake. It's chocolate cake. It, it, your body doesn't go, hmm, you went over your calories today, but you went over your calories as a vegan. So I'm not going to count that as much as you going over your calories as a non-vegan because you're, you know, it's vegan. You ate vegan calories, so I'll give you a break. So you could be overweight and be... And eat nothing but fruits and vegetables. And drink water. And if you eat 3,000 calories, 4,000 calories of those things, guess what, homie? <laughs> You're going to be overweight. You're going to gain weight. It don't matter what the calories that you eat come from. I mean, it does. But, like, your body doesn't go, hmm, you went over your calories by 1,000, but those were vegetables, so I don't count those. That's not how it works. Surgery, I've never felt that gut feeling even with Weight Watchers, as much as I've tried it. But with this, I knew I was making the wrong. Meanwhile, you've calculated the 
Panera Bread into your Weight Watchers. You're lying to us, okay? Choice. And I know I'm going to get a lot of backlash, but I want you guys to see kind of where my brain was at. It's just, it's an absolute mess. Like, an absolute mess. I am very grateful my gut spoke to me. Truthfully. Anytime that I usually mess up on a diet or a lifestyle change early on in the day, I use the rest of the day as, a, as an excuse to binge or overeat or whatever it is. But not today. Not today. Again, the first time I've ever done this, but my gut is telling me, don't do it. Me eating Panera Bread earlier... I had a huge excuse to just binge and tell myself, oh, tomorrow's a new day. I'll just start fresh, but I'm not doing it. I'm doing the advice that almost every single professional and person who has lost a large amount of weight tells me all the time. Start now. Who cares what you ate throughout the day? Start now. There's no reason for, oh, tomorrow's a new day. So I'm starting now. I looked at my Jenny Craig. Wow. So you're starting now, eh? Listen, I get the whole start now thing. Start now doesn't mean overeat and then look for an excuse to eat more. So pretend to still be on this diet that we know you're not going to hold to. Just as an excuse to be like, you know what? If I just eat the Jenny Craig stuff later, they're not going to count that. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Amber, track. I mean, you. I don't know why I'm going to say count calories. There's an app called Lose It, okay? Maybe, and I know you know about it because actually you're the one who told me about it. But for the, those of us that are listening that are between me and Amber on opposite ends of the spectrum here, there's an app called Lose It. What you do in that app is you put your your height, your weight, all your details, okay, age, everything. And then what that does is it gives you not only your calories, but it breaks down each different type of food you should be having or from each different category. It kind of gives you a rough idea of where you should be. And you, you calculate, you put your food, you know, you portion and weigh everything out and you put your food into a plan, into the plan that this thing has. And or into the the calculator, and it will literally graph out what you've eaten, what, uh, how many calories you should have for your lunch, how many you should have for your breakfast, how many you should have for your dinner. It even gives you some to snack on. It says, okay, you know, you've had this many grams of protein, this many carbs, this many sugars, this much sodium, and kind of gives you a good guideline as to where you need to be. And you set your goal weight, and it kind of gives you suggestions on what you need to do in order to get there. And it, it keeps you, and it works. That's the app I use. And it works. And you're not going to lose it fast, but you shouldn't lose it fast. I lost 140 pounds, but I did it over two years almost. And there's going to be some days and times where, and weeks, where you don't lose any. You might put a pound or two on. Don't get discouraged. Follow this app. Work closely with this app. Make sure if you can work with a doctor or nutritionist or a personal trainer. I work with all three. And develop the plan with them. Don't just do it the way she does it where she decides that she knows everything. You know, work with a doctor. If you can get a, a personal trainer, maybe if you have a membership at a gym, a lot of times they have them there. Even if you don't take the classes with them sometimes, if you get to know them, you just kind of pick their brains, they'll help you out a little bit. Personal trainer, nutritionist, do those things. Work, work with those people and work tightly with them. You know, And if you feel like it's not right for you, go to them and be like, hey, listen, um, can we tweak this a little bit? And do so under, they're the professionals. They're the ones that know your blood work. They're the ones that know your body. You know your body too. But, like, they're the ones that are professionals in making sure that people stay healthy. So, so take cues from your body, but also please use this app and please work with a network of people whose job it is to keep you healthy. And that goes for overeating and for undereating. Please work with professionals. Don't do it by yourself. Work with professionals.
menu and I am going based off of what it's telling me to eat, but I'm taking some things off because I already did eat Panera Bread. So instead of binging, I'm going to fall. No, this is more you're binging. There's, you're eating a whole other meal that you don't need. Be done eating for the day and start tomorrow again if this is the approach you want to take. Follow through with some of the, um, my food's probably like all messed up because I've been sitting here talking because I'm going to do a taste test because uh, I'm still going to do that in this video because today is day three. So this is Jenny Craig waffles and Jenny Craig syrup and a serving of fruit. So late night carbs and sugars that'll do you real good you should not those are breakfast foods there's a reason why breakfast foods are higher in carbs because you need the day to burn them off you should not be eating breakfast or dinner on a day where you already binged washed an apple and cut it up so we're going to do a taste test of the waffle we're doing this again i'm this still going to do my seven waffle. days i don't know i don't know what got into me i'm a freaking uh, my gut i'm just happy with my gut i knew it was the wrong choice uh, so with it. this, if I would have ate this as breakfast, then as you guys can tell, I'm starting to get irritated. So I'm probably going to pause the video less. I knew I shouldn't have done it, but yet you did it anyway. And you uploaded it for that YouTube coin. You really irritate me. And I would also be having a Jenny Craig protein shake. But I feel like I had, you know, the protein with my turkey chili that I had from Panera Bread. Plus I had chicken on... The sandwich I got with it, etc., etc. Okay, so let's do this. Why do you gotta? Why do you gotta take a bite that fills your whole mouth and then pretend like some frozen waffles are the best things you've ever eaten? Mm, this is so good. I don't understand. Because you're faking it. That's good. Mm. With the apple, well, wow. it's so good. I am not sponsored, but I truly recommend Jenny Craig for any type of person who wants to lose weight. The food actually tastes really You would be the worst sponsorship for Jenny Craig, and they know this. Really good. They teach you about moderation. I love it. Last night. You know nothing about moderation. When I binged, I was like, There's a reason. Bye. If you knew about moderation being the queen of moderation that you said in that pizza mukbang that you don't even like pizza and stuff, then why are you six or over 500 pounds? You irritate me. Hi, Jenny Craig. It was definitely like a, I think like a manic moment because the fact that I also oh, cut four. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I actually have relatives and one of my best friends suffers from mania. Okay. Don't, don't, don't do this. Don't do that. Okay. Like they're manic depressive. Don't do that. You do not have what they have. Okay. You do not act the way that they act. These are two people that are very near and dear to me. A family member and one of my best friends in the entire world. Both people, which I love very much, who really do have manic depressive you are not them. You are not manic. You are a lazy, lying person who 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 is doing who's motivated by money. It seems I really, and that's the thing. I don't want to talk bad about you. I don't want to hurt your feelings. I don't want to trash you. But my God, someone has to be brutally honest with you. Someone needs to be, and something needs to get through to you. If there's a hundred approaches that don't get through to you, maybe there's a hundred and one. And on that hundred and one, maybe that'll get through to you. Something has to happen. Because you're invoking mania now. So people with an actual, like, like you got to be kidding me. Like, you have got to be kidding me. Listen, I don't want to go too far into it, but Robin the Explorer has definitely... A great story with mental health that you should hear. And I'm pretty sure people like him and people who have other mental health issues for sure would not like Amber invoking mental health as a way to cloak her her 
You know what I'm saying? As a way to make it seem like what she's doing is acceptable or it's excusable because of that. Do not involve the mental health community. You are not part of them. You don't have the issues they have, and you don't have a right to invoke whatever whatever you think will help people feel bad enough for you. Take responsibility for what you're doing to yourself and fix it. 15 inches off of my hair goes to show that, like, I just wasn't thinking. I do not regret the hair. No, 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 you don't get... You, <laughs> you invoke mania, and then you said you weren't thinking. Look, I'm, I'm done. I... You guys get the point. Part, though. I am so happy. I'm actually thinking about cutting a little bit more up. And there are a few things I want to say because people are, like, commenting, like, oh, my God, Jenny Craig is, like, not sustainable. Look at the small amounts of food you're eating. What? It seems like a lot of food to me. Like, no, you're eating six times a day. No, it doesn't. Stop lying. And you're eating lots of veggies, lots of fruit. I'm, like, really confused. I was, like, so confused with that statement. But what also makes me confused is, like, people saying that and then people saying in in my other past videos of, like, counting calories, that's just, like, too much food. That's just, like, too much food. There's never, like, a happy medium for you guys. Like, I don't know what to do. I'm, I just do me. And I feel like this is a lot of food, in my opinion. That's just how I feel. Okay, you guys, so it is the next meal. It looks like a teeny tiny bit, but I also have a garden salad that's gonna go with it. Jenny Craig has really helped me with showing like true portion sizes. It is honestly pretty crazy. Cause like I was talking about earlier where people are like, that's too small of food. I'm just like, yo, that's like a real like serving size. I also wanna say I did not film myself stepping on the scale. I did, but I didn't film it cause I thought I was doing the whole mukbang route weight watcher route but it was 514.2 so i've lost weight every day so far okay but before i get into the taste test i cut even more of my you know the thing i want to point this out the thing about people like her and what i used to be is one of the things that's really important to us is like the instant gratification that addiction for food goes with anything it goes with buying stuff it goes with food it goes instant gratification you get that dopamine rush and then you're looking for your next fix people always say why does why does amberlynn you know bite her take a bite of her food before her last bite's even done because the bite of the food is the dopamine rush and by the time you're done chewing that you're like well now i gotta get more food now i gotta buy this other thing and it's a, and I don't, I'm not saying she's not an addict because I know food addiction. I'm one too. And I probably always will be one and it's going to be a battle I fight forever. She's not allowed to invoke the mental health community. That's not okay. Addiction? Yes. I would never say anything to her about that. But it's the dopamine rush. She eats. It's a dopamine Oh, I'm chewing food. Okay, and then you swallow. You're like, well, now I gotta get more food. And that's the way, at least it worked for me. And it seems like with her, <laughs> the dopamine rush also lies in the daily weigh-ins. Because you look for that, like, instant gratification of, I lost two pounds, I lost a pound, I lost whatever. That's a dangerous place to be, too, because when you're actually losing weight, and you, and you have that dopamine effect from the lower number there's going to be weeks where you lose where you don't lose weight and there's going to be some weeks where you even gain a pound or two when you're working out and eating better because you're building muscle and you're looking for a lower number and you won't get it and that can cause you to fall off i understand eating disorders well i understand overeating not under eating or, or whatever that you know the, the plethora of things that that is. Um, I understand the ovaries. I also understand the addiction to the dopamine rush of seeing the number drop on the scale. And keeping in mind, you have to do it healthy. And then when it stops or it goes up by a pound or two. And I realize what that can do. So if she was to say addict or addiction, 100% yes. She invoked the mental health community. And I'm, I'm pretty sure... 
people that are part of that would not like that. I may not be the only one that feels that way. I may be the only one that feels that way. I don't know, but that's my opinion on it. Here. <laughs> uh, are you guys ready? Uh, okay. Oh. I'm shook. To some of you, you're going to be like, I don't even notice. This is almost 18 inches off of my hair now. Get off. I'd say about 17. So, baby, like it? Very. Yeah. Becky Very. really likes it. She said it makes me look younger. I like it too. I feel like I might go professional and maybe get like up to here. I don't know. It just looks and feels so much. Way to throw shade at Becky. I might have a professional finish the job that you started. You're such an ass, Amber. You're really a rotten person. It's better. It is insane. Okay, so I'm having half of an apple. This is not an apple. Yeah. I'm having half of a banana, and I'm having chicken carbonara. So this plate bowl is pretty big, but this is a normal serving. And fruits always fill me up, so we're good. And again, I am having a garden salad, so... Let's try it. Looks like there is peas, some bacon, and chicken. So let's do it. I'm gonna take a bite of the chicken. Probably gonna be some massive overreaction here. Cause you know, our girl's afraid of frozen chicken and stuff, but she doesn't mind it from Panda Express when she gets the orange chicken. Mm. I love the texture of their chicken and their taste. It's so good. Mm. Yep. Love it. I have not ate a single thing from Jenny Craig that I haven't liked. So. Okay, you guys. So, it's time for my next meal. Today is a little confusing because, like I said, I had Panera Bread when I wasn't supposed to. So, I'm not having, like, any of the snacks or anything, like, in the middle of my meal. your Panera Bread? And then film this video six hours later. Then you had the waffles. And then and the, and the fruit. And then the chicken carbonara and the garden salad with the banana. And now you're filming again. Just how much are you eating in this day? <laughs> you're just using Jenny Craig as a way to decide to eat more in the day like you don't see this oh no just start now just make sure you go over your calories by four thousand calories probably this is you telegraph your point like i can see through you other people can't but i'm for sure seeing through you you just use this as a reason to eat more for the day that's what you did I might have one later tonight, but we'll see. So, oh, another, you might have another one later tonight. <laughs> you gotta be doing this on purpose. You're trolling us. I'm having a huge salad with some carrots and Jenny Craig balsamic vinaigrette you guys know that i love it because i tried it in last video i think and we're also having a chicken burrito Ugh, looks so good so we're gonna try that together oh it's super hot i'm trying to get a get a piece of it but it's piping i cut it in half <laughs> I swear my mmms and this is delicious. It's so repetitive, but honestly. It's for the feeders. You gotta get that feeder money. It's true. So. Y'all, I'm so mad. I thought I was filming when I wasn't. Damn it. It is a s'mores bar. And it literally looks like a Snicker or a Milky Way or something. And I already tried it because I thought I was filming. This is what it looks like. It is so delicious. It tastes like a candy bar. It might as well be one. It's so good. So, this means I'm done with day three. We had a And I'm done with this video. You irritated me. Good night, y'all.